Hello guys. There's much going on in the world and in the body of Christ as we are anxiously awaiting the return of the Savior. As it says in Matthew 24, and I'm paraphrasing here, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. I want to take a moment and share with you an experience that I had. It happened on March 14th, 2018, which is March 15th in Jerusalem time. And it occurred roughly between the blue, full moon of the first and the full moon that was a blue moon at the end of the month. It was about 5.30 in the morning and I was just starting to come out of a sleep pattern and I recognized that I was a tingling sensation on my body. This puts it in the fourth watch. Then I had three quick visions. One was of a cloudy white hue over my body and then I felt myself being pulled up and I saw a full moon on against a gray background on my left and a sunset with clouds and red orange hue with them off to my right. Then the very next thing I experienced is I was in another place. And in that place, I was looking at my hands and holding the branch of a bush with the green leaves and the white petals in them. I took a moment to take this in and then began to look around. And I noticed other green bushes, shrubs, trees, a park bench, a meandering sidewalk, and I began to float through this park. And I was at total peace, total acceptance. I saw a white misty cloud go across in front of me and in my spirit, I heard, that's the Holy Spirit. I continued to just take in this park and the tranquility of it all, rested on a branch. And I felt as though I was in my spiritual mind because I had no carnal thoughts, but just enjoying and accepting the peace of it all. I looked to the left and I saw a cul-de-sac with some houses that appeared to be split level, brick on the bottom, wood painted white on top but no other cars and no other people. Then I happened to notice behind there some what appeared to be long slats of wood of a light brown color. And I said to myself, I wonder, is that the ark? Then the very next thing, I was back in my body. I inquired of the Lord about this particular experience and he said, you're in a park in the ark, share. So that's what I'm doing, guys, and taking the time to talk a little bit about this because the Lord impressed upon me that he wanted me to share also why the first thing I encountered were these greens in my hand. Because this was a major transformation that was occurring. You see, the Father gave me a while back an understanding of the wholeness of his love. And this wholeness is laid out in Isaiah 53, where he says, I'm sorry, Isaiah 55, where he says, as the rain and snow comes down and returns not hither, but waters the earth and brings forth the bud that it might give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall the word be that goes forth from my mouth. This cycle of wholeness is all through the scriptures. There's a primary cycle in the very beginning, because in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was null and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of the Lord moved on the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And God saw the light and said, this was good, because it was now operating in wholeness. Because God is all in all, and Christ is all in all. Christ is also the bread, but he is the unleavened bread, and represents every point in the cycle. So God the Father was first. He created Adam. Noah took us through the water. And then Abraham was one who shared bread and wine with God's representative Melchizedek. Christ represents this cycle 
for us, and we see one of those primary ones at the crucifixion because in Isaiah 52, he was lifted up very high, and in Isaiah 53, he dealt with the darkness. For he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was placed upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. But it also tells us that it pleased God to bruise him, because now, in Isaiah 54, he could bring forth his loving kindness, everlasting kindness, and mercy. And this shall be as the waters of Noah. For when he established a covenant with us, in Noah's that he would never again cover the earth with water and flood the entire earth. That same covenant commitment, he says, I will bring forth a covenant of peace that will not depart from my children. Because we are now in the bread, in the body of Christ, hid in Christ. And Christ, Christ says, on the last day, I will return and ret raise you up back to the Father. Christ says this himself. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man returns to the Father except by me. Just showing the wholeness of Christ's love for us. So I want to take a minute and share that with you guys as the Lord has so directed me. Uh, this particular experience happens to be a fulfillment of a word that a young lady got magnificent news about to rise and I'm going to post her video it's a very short three minute one down below where God mentioned to her that he was going to be taking some of us to this survivorship this ark as there are many watchmen getting transformations visions and dreams I'll post one more at least uh, midnight our oil, Melissa, she has had a transformation out of her body where she saw her mansion. And there's another lady called Ms. Watchwoman, which I'll post below, where she talks about seeing Noah, the ark, and God conveying to her, yes, Christ is our ark of safety. And if you don't know this man... Jesus Christ in the pardon of your sins and how much he wants to spend eternity with you and love you and take care of all that you need. Please take a moment to just receive him into your heart. God has made everything available through the shedding of his son's blood because it is a gift given to us to show us how much he loves us. Okay, guys, I'm looking forward to seeing many of you on Christ's return when he says, as in Thessalonians, for the Lord himself shall return for us. Until then, be blessed. It's just a cycle of meat, sweet potatoes, collard greens, and cornbread. It's just soul food. I'll be looking forward to seeing you later. Be blessed.